emotionally, physically, spiritually, I'm done. <laughs> Good afternoon, my loves. Welcome to Maverick Baking and welcome to another chocolate review, if it can even legally be called that in today's video. <laughs> Today, we are talking about a brand new product on UK shelves, being the Aero Golden Honeycomb Melts. Why are they doing this? I don't know. Do I want to know? Not really. Aero, if you are out with the UK or just if it's been a while, is a very famously bubbly chocolate here in the UK. Most typically found in just plain milk chocolate with bubbles or mint, more kind of rarely with orange or also with vanilla around Christmas time. There's very occasionally a kind of caramel Aero flavour that appears. I don't know why the bars turned to bubbles and then turned to melts. The bars are joyous, Aero bubbles are beautiful, very fun to eat, very delicious, bubbly, airy texture in the mouth. These melts, I'm not so sure. It's like somewhere between a chocolate button and an Aero bubble that no one needed to exist. But we're trying not to judge too harshly at first sight, kind of. But I have never until today seen these golden honeycomb kind of Aero variety. So I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna go. There's no actual milk chocolate involved here. I don't even technically know if this is considered white chocolate. It describes itself on the back as bubbly honeycomb flavor pieces. Main ingredients being sugar, four kinds of vegetable oil, whey powder, as in the protein stuff, milk powder, butter fat and emulsifier, then some milk, some more vegetable oil, cocoa butter, then cocoa mass and some flavoring. Not the most enticing of ingredients list, to be completely honest, but they might surprise us. The honeycomb element is something I'm very intrigued by. Of course, the only kind of mainstream honeycomb sweet or snack in the UK is the, the Cadbury Crunchy. So, oh no. I was just about to say I, I, I fear <laughs> deeply that these will have that kind of fake Twix caramel flavouring and it already smells very aggressively like they do. To give you an idea of, Jesus, to give you an idea of how strong that flavoring is just from the smell. Did you ever have like toffee flavored yogurts as a child? Like those individual ones or one of the Muller corner things that you would pour the chocolate covered biscuit balls into? It's that strong a smell. And for some reason, even though on the front they're represented as being both golden and honeycomb colored, that golden? Is that honeycomb to you? Because that looks distinctively, I mean considering how much white there is in this room, let's let's ask the audience. That to me looks, uh, it looks like it's at least trying to be white chocolate. They're all different sizes, which is interesting, if not unintentional. But let's see, judgment aside, <laughs> if these golden Aero honeycomb melts are worth your money today. At least the taste is better than the smell. But that texture is very confusing. It's somewhere between fudge and white chocolate on a warm day. It does not have the bubbliness of an Aero. You can't even really see any bubbles. I would hold it up for a close up, but there's literally nothing to see. It feels very light. It feels very fudgy in the sense that it actually feels quite sugary in the mouth too. As it melts, you begin to get a kind of white chocolate flavor, but it mostly just tastes and feels like sugar and fake caramel flavoring. It could be worse, but it could absolutely be better. The flavoring itself, thankfully, is not as strong in the mouth as it is on your nose when you open this bag. It is violent when you open the bag. And when you're sniffing, even from this distance, it's a little too much. However, I don't really know who these are for. To me, if someone wants honeycomb, they probably want the crunch. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you're a soft honeycomb gal. But <laughs> to me, if you're looking for honeycomb, you're looking for crunch. Like in a crunchy, or you at least want that kind of melty, bubbly crispiness. Whether you're thinking of like handmade, homemade honeycomb or a crunchy bar. This on the other hand has the texture of fudge and the flavour of caramel flavoured fudge. It has all the softness of caramel without having anything intentionally to do with caramel. It's certainly not golden. If you were to taste this blindfolded you would not know it was supposed to be honeycomb. And the only flavour that lingers in the mouth is fake caramel and cheap vanilla. 
The cheap vanilla thing you don't mind because you would think you were eating white chocolate here. It has a vague, super cheap, fudgy white chocolate texture. But other than that, I don't really know what these are for. The only thing I could think that these could be quite good in is like baked into cookies or baked into brownies as like a complimentary little extra thing for the aesthetic and for the tiniest touch of caramel flavor. But on their own, I've eaten like six of these and I am done emotionally, physically, spiritually, I'm done. <laughs> you know, they're not that expensive. You know that you're not getting super high quality product when you buy these, but considering how joyful the texture and flavor of like the orange mint or regular Aero bubbles are, or the vanilla kind of snow bubble things that you get at Christmas, these are so disappointing. In texture, in taste, in appearance, everything. It doesn't feel like Aero, doesn't feel like honeycomb. It feels like a one out of five if I'm being perfectly honest. If you guys have tasted these, let me know in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts, or if you're super into honeycomb, maybe you think I'm just being really unfair, do let me know. I'm just really not keen to ever look at those again. <laughs> if you haven't already, do consider to tap that subscribe button to stick around here on the channel because we are conducting all sorts of chocolate reviews. We're making recipes. We are doing little kind of foodie vlogs. I post what I eat in a day videos. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, feel free to stick around. If not, it's been a pleasure. Thank you as always for having me and I'll see you for the next one.